In reality Ukraine was beaten by PMC Wagner Group, mostly with Russian artillery, air support, missile troops, and some Spetsnaz support. Wagner Group artillery is working hard to neutralize Bakhmut, a town on the line of fire in Donetsk line. Apart from the artillery, their armored vehicles were working on a forest plantation, on the edge of one of Bakhmut's roads. Wagner Group opened fire on Ukrainian soldiers, who had settled in the houses. The week-long seizure of Dacha, and most of Zaitsevo south of Bakhmut, allowed Russian troops the opportunity to strike behind Bakhmut and threaten Ukrainian supply lines. But the Russians were held in Kodima and Zaitseve. These cities were heavily guarded and defenders of Ukraine. Heavy artillery fire. Russian troops attacked Zaitsevo and Kodima from every angle. Meanwhile, the support of the attack from the self-propelled gun 2S7M Malka of LPR Army violently shelled the areas fortified by Ukrainian troops. While in Pokrovskoy, Ukrainian troops reverted the settlements into their network of fortifications, and fortifications to contain the advance of Russian troops. Wagner Group released a video showing the positions of the old enemies, and how they crushed Ukrainian soldiers trying to hold back the attack. In the context of the attack on Bakhmut front line, this killed dozens of Ukrainian soldiers and foreign mercenaries, from yesterday to today, the 22nd of August. Russian army took one city after another, present-day Bakhmut, and caused harm to Ukraine thereby mobilizing women and the elderly.